Social media optimization sounds quite simple. Well, the reality is it is simple, but uh, some of the basic things that we need to bear in mind is that social media doesn't mean creating a lot of social media profiles as, per, as part of your personal branding online, but then actually ignoring and not updating these profiles beyond the lifeline of this course. It is very tempting to think I would like to cover the first page of search engine results uh, uh, query with 10 profiles, so I will create 10 social media profiles for you. But the reality is, if you have 10 profiles to maintain, you need to think about how you will actually be able to achieve this. So the basic element of social media optimization is try and scope out and limit the number of posts or the, the number of profiles that you'll be creating. But then on the other hand, if you will be going down the route of uh, having more uh, profiles uh, created, think about how you will actually cross-link and integrate these profiles as well. It's really important to try and think about which will be the most important or the primary social media profile that you will use for personal branding online because we're thinking about your professional uh, standing. So perhaps one of the options you will be thinking about if you are in France, it could be LinkedIn. But uh, if you are uh, thinking about other countries, so there might be other Chinese alternatives that you want to consider. So the thing, things that in terms of optimization, obviously try and make sure that you are branding all these uh, social media profiles with the same profile picture so that people can actually see that this is the same person who is interacting with them. Try and consider using the same consistent username. If you can, if the name isn't available on one network or another, try and think of some creative ways to integrate your name in that personal brand online. Because ideally, your uh, username, say on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram, or any other network that you choose, should be identical. So that people can actually find you and actually see that those uh, actual profiles are all integrated into one. So once you've done the basic branding process, so you've chosen the same uh, platforms and you've got all the profiles with the same name, and put the profile picture that is identical, try and think about interlinking these and make sure that there is cross-references from, say, your Twitter profile to your LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever other networks that you've decided to use. If you have a blog, why not list all your social media networks on the bottom of every single blog post so that people can actually get in touch with you? Some of the things that people are really keen on social media, and this is something that really makes it uh, really useful, is the content variety. So the idea is that because the things that you will be publishing or will be sharing are going to be publicly available, try and think about optimizing the content that you create using something that's called the STEPS model. STEPS model has a number of elements that you could try and uh, integrate in the content that you create, but ultimately, the basic idea is that uh, video and images are far more viral by their own nature because there is no need to actually read, so it's much quicker for somebody to understand the content and obviously share that content with others. So if you choose that kind of content, think what kind of network that you will use for that as well, and obviously try and integrate these elements across uh, uh, networks that you will be using as well. So the steps model would be a great thing for you to optimize the individual bits of content that you create. So the next thing that you need to think about is the publication calendar. So if you will have your uh, LinkedIn profile, how frequently will you potentially update it or how frequently will you potentially blog on LinkedIn is obviously quite useful for you to think about now. If you start blogging every two days now and then stop blogging altogether, Okay, that could be an interesting start or an experiment for your course, but that's also something that will show to your potential employer that you have tried something out and potentially not interested in this again. Bear in mind that you can close some profiles beyond the lifeline of this course as well. So if you want to try things out now and actually switch them off at the end, so that's also a good idea. So uh, we are in the acting stage of the course, so there is nothing that's wrong to try things out and obviously learn from the experience.